Well, today is the 10th of May, 2020, and uh, we are still in lockdown uh, in South Africa in our stage four COVID-19 lockdown. Now, ordinarily on the 10th of May, we would celebrate uh, the birthday of Dr. Bayes Nadia as uh, staff and colleagues and friends of the Bayes Nadia Center. And we would do this in person with a speaker. Of course, this year we are not able to do it. So uh, we asked the chairman of the management committee of the Bayes Nadia Center, Professor Nico Koopman, who is a vice rector of transformation, social impact and personnel at Stellenbosch University uh, to share with us today some of his experience of Bayes Nadia and a message for us on this 105th anniversary of the birth of Bayes Nadia. So Professor Koopman will be up next. Every year on the 10th of May, we celebrate the birthday of Bayes Nodia. In this year, 2020, we celebrate the 105th anniversary of his birth. And the celebration of this year takes place in the context of COVID-19. It's a context of vulnerability. And this notion of vulnerability makes me think of some of our last interactions with Dr. Bayes Nodia. There is a photo in the Bayes Nodia Center and in my office, a photo of vulnerability. It's a photo of Wumbay in his wheelchair and Madiba pushing the chair. And on the background, Tani Ilse, Umbe's wife, also old and fragile. This photo makes me think a lot, especially in this time. It shows the vulnerability of the three persons. Umbe cannot go forward on his own. Madiba also very fragile. He needs something to lean on to go forward. And then he pushes Umbay. Tani Ilza follows. In vulnerability, they go forward, forward together. In this time of vulnerability, that photo gives the message of two, three moral heroes of South Africa. In their vulnerability, they go forward together. There's a second experience of vulnerability with Mumbai. I visited him a few months before he passed on. He was in his wheelchair, fragile, vulnerable, and I shared with him, with him something of the work of the Bayes Nodia Center. I even shared with him an assignment that my daughter who was then in primary school did. It spoke about the trust that all South Africans had in Bayes Nodia. We were supposed to speak for only 20 minutes, but it went for an hour at least. Because Wumbay wanted to speak. In his vulnerability, he spoke strongly. I can't remember, I can't forget the fortitude that he manifested. He was appealing to us. And this was his appeal. You must seek the kingdom, the kingdom of God. At the Bayes Nodia Center, you must do it. At Stellenbosch University, you must do it. In this country and globally, you must seek kingdom, kingdom life for all. And we know the features of that life. The features of that life are justice, peace, 
and joy for all. For human beings, for plants, for animals, for nature, for the cosmos. And when Umbay appealed to us to seek that life, he sat up straight in his wheelchair and I still hear that strong voice ringing in my ears and in my heart. In the vulnerability, the quest for kingdom life for all, kingdom life for all, was so strong. We know that we pray, let thy kingdom come. All over the world, we pray it since Jesus Christ taught us that prayer. And in the time of Corona, in this time of vulnerability, Bayer's No Dear helps us to seek with fortitude amidst vulnerability justice for all. Peace, shalom, wholeness for all, joy for all, joy amidst tragedy, joy that in the end reigns supreme. We celebrate Bayer's No Dear with his dear wife, Tani Ilze, with his dear friend, our beloved Madiba in a context of vulnerability. And it is so amazing that amidst their vulnerability, they provide directives that we need so desperately. Forward together amidst vulnerability. Resilience, strength, fortitude, in vulnerability. Our sincerest thanks to Professor Nico Koopman, uh, a wonderful colleague and friend and the chairman of the Management Committee of the Bayes Nadia Centre in the Faculty of Theology at the University of Stellenbosch. Uh, thank you so much, Nico, for that wonderfully encouraging message and uh, those wonderful personal memories. Friends, just to say, if you would like to know more about the work of the Bayes Nadia Centre, um, you can see the link to our website in the show notes, and I'll also include it below. And uh, thank you for celebrating uh, the life and legacy of uh, Dr. Bayes Nadir with us. And may we draw inspiration from it for our own lives and work.